This time on First Impressions, a word from our French correspondent. Sacre bleu, mais quoi fondant? Gender specific pronouns. This is two in the bush. I am Sean Howe, and I'm joined as ever in the bush by Timothy Broad. Hello. Hello. How are you this fine, very fine day? Do you know what? Really good. It's been pleasant weather, but it hasn't been mental. It's a beautiful day to sit inside and do a podcast. No, I've actually been in with the curtains closed. I have been in the sun a fair amount these last few days. So like every time I've got, every time I've got which for coffee. me is brave, given being a gamer. Do you burn? Quite, you actually have just realised you are quite red. You are quite red, and yeah. also fre- uh, freckles. More freckles have popped up. Yes, that is what the sun does. Do they go away? What the freckles? Yeah, they must um, eventually. What, well, as in, what do you mean, like, like fade away again? Yeah, I'm assuming they must. Otherwise, you just really? collect freckles forever. Unless freckles. Well, I've got have freckles on my face. Yes. Like would those ones ever disappear on your arm? No, I think I've still, I think I think you can still see some of them, but I think when it's on when they're suddenly come up more. Interesting. I don't I don't freckle. You don't. I never did freckle, which is interesting. I freckled a lot. I had a lot of freckles. I had yeah. a lot of spots instead. Yeah, I, I sp- still get spots. I, I would rather have freckles than spots. I'll be honest. I think I'd rather have spots. You know. Really? Yeah. Is it just because you don't get the satisfaction of popping a freckle? I think just because... If you do pop a freckle, then something's probably gone very wrong. I think because spots... I don't know. It's just like, there, they're there, that's it, done. And it's not like a permanent feature, it will go away in time. With freckles, I don't know about. And it's just like, yeah, this is a spot, you can clearly see it, bam, done, over. Conversation piece, over. <laughs> don't worry about it, just don't let done. it... Done. It'll be gone probably next week. <laughs> Sorry, I love the idea of you trying to, trying to almost, well, not promote spots, but trying to give their case. But you, you literally you said, right, they're done, don't look at me. Just don't, don't look, just <laughs> stop looking at me, I don't need it. Stop, just my stop. eyes are up here. My eyes are here. Uh, I still... I have, There's spots on your eyes. Ah! But I don't actually... I've been pretty good with the heat, and I've been enjoying the sun, picking cherries from how my cherry ve- How tree. very quaint. I know. We it's... sound so southern right now. Well, there we go. I, we are southern. We are southern. That we, we cannot deny that. I'm more southern than I used to be, because I used to be from London. Yes. So Is that how that works? I guess. I mean, uh, well, the thing is, I think it really depends where you come from, really, because if, so, say... If you, if oh, you, if, Southwest if, London. Yeah, if you took a, if you took a Yorkshireman and put him put him in London for however many years, he's still a Yorkshireman. Yeah, he's. Still you a... take someone from London, take him down to Hastings for however many years, and they're from Hastings. Yeah, it just takes a day. <laughs> <It's> a... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a comment on London or Hastings. <laughs> I wonder if I moved up to. I think if I moved back up to London, I think I'd probably readjust. Okay. Yeah, I like, reckon I could do my accent. All right. I don't even have an accent. I'm not sure. I want to hear my young voices from when I was many years ago. Well, uh, did you have any recordings of it? No, I just sound like a posh and shit. <laughs> you know, Paris are posh in the slightest or well spoken. Well, to be fair, I, I had a tendency of sounding uh, relatively well spoken simply just because, for whatever reason, I don't know if. It, if it was my dad encouraging me, I don't think it was. I think it was just me wanting to sound clever. I just, I just used a lot of interesting words, particularly as a kid, and so, so much so that 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 combined with the fact that I had secondhand MacBook MacBooks from a mate of ours at Mates Rate. That whenever I went up to the Medway Town, they thought you were well posh, innit? it? Well posh, mate. Innit? Here, <laughs> I'm a single thing. I have, a, I have a friend called Iona who speaks, who sounds nothing like her parents. Right. I don't know where this at? And Leo Graham, no Leo Graham. Oh yes. He also. No, mention, he, he, he listened once. He listened once. <laughs> he sounds nothing like his parents either. I've never heard his parents speak. I've heard his mum and his dad. How, how how do they sound roughly? One sounds like she's from the south, and the right. other one sounds like he's a little bit northern than south. Right. He's a little bit north of the south. Actually, come to think of it. 
um, obviously there are similarities, but Kieran speaks quite differently to his mum. I, do you know, I generally think that we as children like to deny our heritage. <laughs> <laughs> we are ashamed of our heritage. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. And on the note of shame, let's move on to wordplay. Let's, let's move on to wordplay. <laughs> so, the, actually, I feel like I should just explain wordplay quickly because I realise that we just always just jump into it with no explanation. Let's do it. Basically, what we do is I have a folder on my phone of different random wordplays that I think of in my head. They're getting quite low recently. I need to come up with more. But it, basically, it's a little pun and it kind of helps us kind of try to get in the, in, in the right mindset in the, in, in the vibe for the, for the following podcast it, it allows our brain to hypothetically, think is it we laterally? Could, yeah it's our lateral thinking hypothetically we could do it before the podcast and then jump straight into it from there but that wouldn't be fun and it would be less content yes so Tim mm-hmm. this week you could win Audi except it's being run by William Shatner Can we look at William Shatner? No, that's cheating. Okay, that's yeah. cheating. <laughs> that's... William Shatner. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a clue. You see that music, man? He did do some music. Was it the recent song? That's really big in America. No. Oh. No one... Are you referring to Old Town Road? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who William Shatner oh, is. Oh, please. Like, William Shatner did do music. He's an actor. But he did do music and it was woeful. But please, for the love of... If I could have... Only one thing in this world. It would be a William Shatner cover of Old Town Road. I'm looking him up. I'm looking at William Shatner. Well, I'll give you. Okay, here's here's a big clue, Tim. He was in Star Trek. I don't watch Star Trek. Well, do you just know? Do you just oh, aware of some of the characters' names? Oh, was he the Irish, the Scottish one? What do you mean, Scotty? Yeah. No. Oh. Just think of Audi as well. Maybe think that way. Maybe think from that direction. An Audi is a car. True. Trend. Yes. But Al- Audi specifically have somewhat of a... German. Um, yeah, again, yes. They have a somewhat of a phrase associated with them. Almost a catchphrase. Uh... Well, I know their tendency of driving is to be as close to the person in front by in, uh, there's in front of you. Again, yes, but that's not exactly a catchphrase. You should be able to. It's see. not going to do. You well should it... be able to see through the windscreen of the car in front yeah. of you. <laughs> not, it wouldn't exactly work well in an advert. Audi, you'll fucking see us. <laughs> um, how... did you give up? No, yeah, I, um, this is too abstract for me. Because okay. I don't know who William Shatner um, is and I don't know this particular phrase it's, about him. It's uh, Vorspong Kirk technique. Rewind. Okay, right. I'll, I'll, Go. How do you have a fr- their phrase, which is Vorspong Dirk technique? Why would I know that? Because it's in their adverts! Do I look like a man? I, do I sound like a man who watched Audi? Do you sound like a man? <laughs> do I sound like a man who watched Audi adverts? Well, nobody out loud watches adverts, but adverts come on when you're watching TV, Tim. That's how TV. adverts yeah, work. I, I know, but you used to watch used TV, to watch and they were on then. I stopped caring about cars, company. I, you know, ever since I stopped watching Top Gear, I remember I used to really be interested in cars, but ever since I stopped watching Top Gear, literally zero. I stopped caring. Because one, because I saw what it did to Ollie Pearson, and I didn't want to be Ollie Pearson. <laughs> friend of ours, well, not friend of ours, associate of ours. Associate. Has. I didn't want to be an Ollie Pearson. Who, Former associate who, of ours. Who, who cared so much about this abstract concept. Like, Hence you Venom. Yeah, right? Who gives a <laughs> shit? Who gives a crap? About a car that you're never going to own. It's just a car <laughs> that they make thousands of. And then there'll be a new one, which is better in the next four years. They're even worse than mobile phones, fam. <laughs> They're even worse than mobile phones. How many times can you reinvent the car? Um, well, there's Teslas. They're just cars. What are different They're about Teslas? electric cars. Yeah, we've got electric cars already. They charge really quickly. Great. The, the doors open automatically. Yeah. They can play a nice tune. What tune is that? Uh, I can't remember. But there, there is an option where you press a button and it basically almost puts on like a light show for you or something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's it's basically showing off. Yes. Te- Tesla off flexing. Mm. And, I, and I need to wash my mouth out now after saying flexing. Flexing. Also, just to I'll explain the other half of that joke, um, uh, William Shatner mm. played Captain Kirk. So, 
Boss Man Dirk technique, Boss Man Kirk technique. Jokes are always so much funnier when you have to explain them. Was he the one with the wrinkly face? The what? He was the one who was like brown and had a wrinkly face. Uh, b- what? In Star Trek. <laughs> Um, he wasn't a human race, was it? Oh, you're from the Klingons. No, was he a Klingon? No, he wasn't a Klingon. No, wasn't there a guy in Star Trek? That, I think you're thinking Next Generation. There was a Klingon in, in the thing. Oh, and he was crew. a good guy. He was a chill Klingon. Yeah, chill Klingon. Cool. This is the original Star Trek, not uh, the Next Generation. Never watched the next Star Trek. Does it hold up well? Uh... It's all right. All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that I'm, I'm... I'm not a Star Trek fan myself. I'm going to say... I'm just kind of aware of to, what's going but on. But to clarify, I, if you want to put me in a... If, there, if you want to put me in a, in a group, I would be part of the Star Wars group, but I'm fully aware that Star Wars is hor- horribly flawed. <laughs> and I think if you want to look for... Fan base good, certainly is. Hmm? Fan base certainly is. Yeah. Horribly. So if you want a good look for a good sci-fi... Um, Hitchhiker's Guide? Yeah. <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide, maybe the, the novels, like the 2001 You know Space the guy Odyssey who novel. wrote Hitchhiker's Guide used to write Doctor Who? Did he? Yeah, but because this was like 60s, 70s. And there have been a couple of very small nods to Hitchhiker's Guide. Mm-hmm. Apparently, so much so that one of the... Um, this I think this is something from Classic Who. I, this might, I might be wrong. One of the Doctors or something was reading a book that was mentioned... In Hitchhiker's Guide. Oh shit! See, so... so it implies that they're in the same universe. I. That's a crossover for. I you. feel like if they, if they capitalised on that crossover potential, Doctor Who would be different. I think it would just be a different show to what yeah. it is now. I'm not saying they actually will cross over. It's just one it's... of those little winks. And I can certainly say it'd be better than the one it is at the moment. Probably. But I'm just. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you heard the Jadoon are coming back for season 12? The Jadoon were They're the rhinos. Big space rhino boss. I feel like there was a lot of attention. And one of them's got a mohawk. No. I feel like there was a lot of attention in them. Yeah. They were like the, the idea of the space. space like police space. for hire as well. I wish we could have seen a battle with them against the Daleks. No, well, we, we nearly did. Yeah, but for some reason... It was a shadow proclamation and they wanted to... Do you remember Journey's End? Yes. And they, then they go to, and there's a they go to the rhinos. I don't know why they go to the also, rhinos. Also, why... Why was it that the Jadoon... Because when they when they are in the first episode, they they take the hospital up and they 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 take a recording of somebody's voice. Yeah. They plug it into the the suit and they think, okay, this is English. We will now speak English. Mm-hmm. How comes when the TARDIS landed at the Shadow Proclamation? This is very nerdy, by the way. Oh yeah. Why didn't the language thing kick in? Why did they speak Jadoon? Admittedly, having David Tennant go, so, 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 Maybe it just takes a while. so, 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 so any hard fact anybody could could um if somebody hires them gives them their laws and then they will enforce those laws. So that doesn't necessarily mean I think there's potential perhaps in in somebody dodging like hiring. Yeah, they are pretty much mercenaries. What hiring them and doing something which isn't necessarily morally correct, but because it's on their set of laws, they just do it without mm. guilt on their conscience. Mm. Take notes, Chibnall. Take notes. Interesting. Anyway, uh, should we do... Um, I mean, uh, I really hope they don't go down the rabbit hole of trying to make it so, like, they try to m- make Jadoon be these, like, morally... I don't know, I don't want them to explore, like, a whole big plot. You just drop your phone. Yeah, I don't want them to be, like, this big morally... Moral conundrum. Like, and just make it be about... It's okay. A woman can only deal with these issues. Because that seems like what Doctor Who's become about. The new, the new Doctor... I'm not gonna comment on that because I haven't seen the whole season. No, believe me. Oh, believe me. That's a no. Believe that's me. a no. Really, it really is like that. I'm no, Tim. I'm moving on. You sure? I'm. I'm sure. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Uh, there is not. There is not a chance at all that we might look. Could end up looking misogynistic. Mm, I'm not a misogynist. You're not. But just in case some people think that you were. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Okay, because I, I personally, I would not indulge my company with for forty four episodes of a misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> However many hours of content that is. 
I should figure that out. You know what? Next episode, I'm going to come back and I'm going to figure out how many hours of content we have made. Uh, we're not going to figure it out now because it takes too much time. Um, I'm looking at the band name section. I'm wondering whether we, whether we did this one last week or whether I... Because I'm wondering if I uh, remember to remove it. Let's hear it. Uh, it's the proper hopper. No, last week you did a whole list of from that. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, so are they on that list? Well, the proper the hopper. Proper hopper. No, no. This is the this express. is just this is just a file. We, I have a file of another another thing on my phone. Whenever I hear a phrase that I think would sound like a decent band name, write it down, take it here. We kind of speculate on what sort of band they would be. Again, just for, for laughs. Why I think not? If the proper hoppers. That's probably a better name, actually. The proper, proper hoppers. Hopper. I think that really you wouldn't want to call you, if you're a single artist you wouldn't want to call yourself the proper hopper if you're a band proper hoppers probably the proper doesn't make hoppers. sense yeah would, would they come to the stage on space hoppers is basically what i'm asking well i wanted to do that for the prom you did I we may, we probably before, talked about this before but uh it never happened and that was the yeah because I, I feel like it was either that or a tank because yeah because george had the idea for a tank and yeah, i remember i said that the only way i would go to prom is if you could organize a tank to take us there in fact, part of me was tempted to just, just get in the tank, let us, let us go. I'd be like in like this full suit. But instead of going out to the prom, I'd just say, see you later, boys, and drive off. <laughs> I am kind of pleased that we didn't. Do you know why? A bit of a faff. As well as a bit of a faff, I think people would have just laughed at us. I, but just they wouldn't if, it, if, if the gun had been loaded. Thinking about the hierarchy of... The, Needs? The hierarchy of people. Oh, right, okay. I think it's fairly safe to say we're all fairly low. Yeah, but equally though, I think that would have just—it doesn't matter what we do. To to people to, wouldn't go. Wow, you're cool. But I feel like in this, this situation, the group that we found ourselves in, or the very least, how what I felt myself, whether this was just me or whether it applied to you as well, it, I feel like it definitely did for me. Where I could kind of do whatever I wanted in that thing, and although I was low on the rank on the ladder. There was almost kind of like a, a respect from the from the people, a kind of grudging respect from the people higher up. Yeah. And also, if the thing with that is that most of the people who you'd probably be ju- judging you, you probably wouldn't see again afterwards. No, probably not. I people seem to give horror stories about some of these people from William Parker. I don't remember them. Anymore. I think I just kept my head low. <laughs> not intentionally. Mainly because you got your nads ridged into a. Uh, fucking, yeah, but that again was we talked about that. But that was that was before. that was that was. That was uh, that, that was better justice than the June could ever give. Yeah. Um, now, should we just move on? Yeah, I think? move on. Because I think there's there's something that we do definitely need to get to. Yeah, Risk Legacy. Wicked game. Yeah, wicked done. Um, next thing. Tim, you know what it is. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Fangate. Mm. No, this isn't, this isn't the unexpected story of somebody actually becoming a fan of the podcast. That is impossible. Have we got any emails? Oh, you haven't mm-hmm. even plugged yet. Let's plug. Let's oh, plug. yeah, if you want to email us, um, to, uh, to in the bush podcast at gmail.com. Nothing yet? No. Okay, cool. Well, I, yeah. But this is a story that happened on Saturday. We met up on Saturday with, with friends of ours. It's a good old time. However, there was one slightly odd moment. I feel like I'll, given the, given the look on your face, I feel like I'm probably going to be telling most of this story. But you know what? It's probably best that way. Um, so, um, one of our friends arrives. He has ca- cans of cordolin. Good for him. He shares them around. Not with me. I don't drink, but with the other three. Tim, obviously included. Tim drinks cans of cordolin. Now you have a bit of a habit when you drink. At first, I thought you were just a complete lightweight. You just silent in shame here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you, I mean, you do try and give me something to work off it. Um, I realise, but but I, anyway. Well, do you want to know how my body works? So I drink alcohol. I'll get a hit straight away from it, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem that that hit is fading anytime soon. I think whatever happens, whatever I drink immediately, I'll get a hit, and I'll just go vegetable. For, for me, it feels. But then afterwards, that looking, hit will go. Looking from the yeah. To the looking from the outside, it's, it's almost like you get the hit straight away. Yeah. And then that really affects you for about half an hour. Half an hour. And then eventually it, you kind of come down to a relatively sensible level. Well, then I... For I, that I, half hour. Then I just... So after that, like, I go for half an hour, like, weird. And then maybe, like, five minutes, I'm just like, I want to sleep. And then after five minutes, I'm back. I'm just like, yeah. cool. 
That's so, yeah, and that, at that point, you you are you are getting the buzz. And at one point, now at one point, I think I should mention this, even though it's not necessarily critical to the story. You managed to sneak in a shot of vodka. Yeah. <laughs> which, which probably would, it, it, in hindsight, probably was, wouldn't have. It was because I've been watching Chernobyl. <laughs> no. Really, really, really good TV. Really, show. so and that makes you think. You know what? I like this Russian lifestyle. Yeah, like they just drink <laughs> They're it all, all melting. the time. They just drink it all the time. <laughs> they just in the show all the time. It's the only alcoholic drink you see. Yeah. It's just a clear liquid in shots. That's it. But it could be water. No. Could be flavored water. Sure. Could be. They're at the bar. Can I have some white flavor? spirit. <laughs> If it's anything, it's going to be just ethanol. If it's, if it's white spirit, well, that's pretty much what white spirit is. Yeah, but you can get away with drinking ethanol. <laughs> yeah, true. Not methanol, and I'll make you go blind. Which is where the phrase blind drunk comes from, by the ah. way. Um, anyway, well, where was I? Now, so, so the reason I bring this up is because I think it rather influenced your head at that point. Because a little bit later on in the evening, we've got a... It's a very hot day, so we've got the fan on. Uh, Jordan just picks up a small... A small it's not a small piece of metal. Screwdriver. It wasn't a small piece of metal. And it wasn't a small piece of metal. And just stops the kind of regardless. It was certainly a small bit of metal than you use in a minute. Um, just just kind of slightly, just almost out of curiosity, just kind of poked he, it well, into the fan. He was complaining that I'm irresponsible. Now, Tim, and I said I'm not is the one very this angry at this. Well, and he's, he's, you I start said, to have a go. It's because he said I'm irresponsible and I shouldn't be drinking. I said I'm not the one putting things in the fan. Now, <laughs> hearing this logic, what happens next makes even less sense. <laughs> now, from from what you explained afterwards, you and then at this point when Jordan was saying, "Oh no, no, it's not like that," you decided that the best course of action <laughs> would be, "I know. Why don't I just do something that you can just do with death fans? If you you put something in to block it, it will automatically stop. That can make a point." Now, there are two things. That are that have problems with that that logic. Firstly, doesn't really make a point. And secondly, you have got to be careful of what you put in the fan. You want something to have a bit of give, something relatively that would be less um, less hard, for lack of a better term, either. than well, a shot. This probably didn't come into play here, but. Um, Something that'd be less soft than the thing, maybe a bit of card, or, or I don't know, perhaps maybe straw, maybe straw, pushing it, maybe a coat hanger, mm-hmm. not a pair of scissors. I put a pair of scissors into my fan. Expected result: blade completely broke. It just falls to the bottom of the thing. Kieran and Jordan are just in <laughs> completely stunned silence. And I just and I've just been watching from the outside and I just say, Well you fuck that, haven't you? <laughs> Tim is currently cringing and I don't blame him in many senses. <laughs> but equal well, I took well, I his thing, my step one fixing it was well, I just thought the fan would work. You just, you just decided to take the blades the... I took the fallen blades out. We put the, the front of the cage bit back on. <laughs> you were shaking around like a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty mobile. It was pretty mobile. <laughs> and, we, and then we had to, this day, we had to take like a 45 minute detour just getting a new fan. Get a new fan. It's a good fan now. It's a good new fan. So Tim what, has now been dubbed the Phantom. I'm now the Phantom. Although, because we can try to think of serial killer names for, for desk fans. In a strong second place was my suggestion, which was The Blade. But then Jordan came up with Phantom later on. I was like, "Yes, that is just the what. That is just it." So now, so uh, and then afterwards, we played a lovely game of Risk Legacy, as you mentioned, which is which is more. Important. And then, as a even though we weren't technically meant to name the board, we decided to name the board and to commemorate the day. Uh, we called it Fangia. Fangia, and my nickname on the board is the Phantom. Is the as Tim? Uh, Tim? I was going to call it Timothy the Phantom Broad, but I just yeah, called it Timothy Broad, the, the Phantom. Phantom. <laughs> so and I've got a place called Phantom City. Yeah, and then I had a city. It's called Jeff. Jeff. Because it has to be called Jeff. Yes. Um, um, a couple of other things to mention before mention. I think we 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 took a little bit. We don't want to spend too much time on Fangate because you just implode. Yeah. 
Um, I've got a couple of stories from a couple of tours I did recently. I've had, actually had two in two consecutive days, which is probably why I got sunburnt. And do you wear sun cream? Uh, no. That was a mistake. I know, but from 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 previous experience, I've worn sun cream. Do you know what I've been doing mattered. in the sun? Because I've been walking. I've had to have been walking back and forth from college, and going in the garden. I've been wearing my Stetson sincerely. Fair enough. And my sunglasses. And do you yes. know what? I either look like a right bell end or like. Yeah, he's back for. Or an extra quite... in the old town road, video, by William Shatner apparently. Yeah, by William Shatner. <laughs> but anyway, there's a cracking st- um, moment that happened on one of these tours. <laughs> like I, I just couldn't con- concentrate for like a couple of minutes afterwards mm-hmm. because somehow, almost as if they were looking into our brains, yeah, they managed to kind of unearth a kind of old running joke between between us. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> interested. So basically, one of the things on the tour is a place called the Donkey Cottage, which was an old stable that got converted into a house. However, this has the downside of the fact that it has a very small door. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yes. So, and I, I tend to, when I'm doing it, I have this kind of thing where it's like, I say, so it, I think I say, average heights back in, back when this was converted was, was a decent amount smaller than they were today. However, they weren't that much smaller. So, therefore, people, even back then, would be waking up and thinking, oh, right, just got to go and take the bins out. And then your head. Bit, bit, a little bit of slapstick. I mainly do it because I'm by far, by at least about 15 years, at least, the youngest guide that they have. So right. I think so. I decided to add a bit of physicality in there where the other guides might not to give it a kind sure. of unique experience. Originality. Now, you're gonna, you're either just going to not get this or absolutely love this. I do, I do that routine. Mm-hmm. I do the, oh, being on the head. And as I do it, because I'm down... Because I'm. Did you actually headbutt the thing? No, I, didn't, I don't headbutt the thing. I just pretend to headbutt right. the thing. And as I do that, because do you remember, I'm on one side of the road where it's low. The group are on the other side of the road on a kind of high pathway so they can get a good view of it. Is this... What road is this? It's this All one, Saints. All Saints? Yeah, yeah. The one with All Saints Church on it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They, yeah. And... As I do the gesture from up, up the top, I just hear someone go, you know, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, what the Because <laughs> 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 we used to do that all the time. He's just doing the da, da, da. That's a, Is it a shutdown? Thing yeah, sh- Windows shutdown noise, Windows XP, XP. definitely. I try to find a mod. Or like an extension from my Windows 10 PC to get the old to get the old Windows XP sounds because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Probably scared the nerves. <laughs> yeah, so that that was that was an uh, that was an old moment certainly. Uh, also, just quick story of me making a tit of myself on public transport. Yeah, I may have told this the other day. In personal conversation, I can't. In fact, I probably did, but I'll tell it for the podcast anyway. I was on a bus. As you do. Yes, and I had a can of drink on me. I I finish this can of drink, and sometimes when you have a can of drink, actually, can you just pass one of the empty cans of recording over there? So, I'll, sure. Although although you cannot see it, I will demonstrate for for Tim. Mm. So you, sometimes one of the things you do is you're kind of fiddling with it because you can't put it in the bin. Yeah. What I tend to do is I tend to kind of turn the ring pull around and then pop it off. Pop it off. Yeah. Just, let's get let's get the noise. Oh, good man. Oh, that's wow, quite a sharp thing. Did you Sorry. No, 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 it's in the sharp noise. Not, I haven't cut myself. Um, that, that'd, be, that'd be thrilling entertainment, wouldn't it? <laughs> but, um, so I'm I'm doing this yeah. on the bus. And I'm not really concentrating on it. In fact, I'm looking out of the window. I'm just kind of doing that. You're going to think, you're thinking that I cut myself. Yeah, I'm you? just thinking you're going to slice your finger open. No. No. So I'm just kind of looking out the window, just doing that, and then just kind of push something down. And then suddenly... At the corner of my eye, I see this shining thing flying upwards and over my head. Oh, yeah, you told the story. Yeah, somehow I'd managed to, to push the ring pull in such a way that it had flung upwards. Kind of I've know. never done that before. Magic trick. I oh, know. It's a pass trick. Maybe if I could figure out how I did it, then I definitely would. So, but then I have a situation where I'm thinking, this is quite a busy bus. That could have like landed on someone. That could have hurt someone. So I'm just kind of looking around, thinking, "What the fuck? Where's this thing?" 
Oh, that's a timer. No, it's yours. Whoops. That's a time for this. But um, I'm looking up at this thing. And this button. Oh, God. I don't do anything. And then I just feel something. It's just landed in my hair. Oh. <laughs> but... I just think I just can't ever feel like I have to look like a right knob. <laughs> How, when was this? This was a couple of days ago. Yeah, roughly. How hot have the buses been? Um, then some of them not been too bad. Although I, I, I get did, bad experiences in some of the buses. Did, I just feel sick all the time. I them. did get a um on the bus this morning. I went and had, had had a tour this morning. For whatever reason, I don't know whether it's like an actual like a heater or if it's just a but uh, like a. The, problem with the bus mm-hmm. for some reason it felt like the heaters were on yeah in the fucking heat yeah and so therefore when you sat down on the chair your legs got fucking cooked yeah that's from the engine that's just the hot engine my shins have never been so warm they are uncomfortable with the buses at the back is this at the back right yeah you have to sit in the front you just have to sit actually not always in the middle oh then I have no idea um nah yeah, it's... bus is on fire, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. As they do. Actually, it might have also been because you've um, sometimes. I don't af- often get particularly early tours, but this one was quite early. It was nine fifteen, start, and for whatever reason, EF, a um, another t- uh, student company. Yeah. I work for a different one. Oh, I think I know. They've yeah. got all the pink signs. Yes. The they e- spend. They spend all their all their money. Trying to say, hey, look, we're here, and don't really pay any attention on, you know, trying to be interesting when they're yeah. doing their stuff. But um, for whatever reason, instead of like, getting like a coach to collect all the kids from my like, um, uh, from the host families, mm-hmm. they just tell them, hey, just go on this bus at this certain time. They don't even tell you just no. to get on a bus. They say get on this specific bus. I think quite a lot. So it clogs the they system up. They use my college a as a congregation. They point. do. They use my college. The inside of my college is. Um... Yeah, that's where the meeting point is. I think they encourage students of our co- college to participate in EF. Yeah. What's it called? What's that even stands for? They Education got... First, I think. Education First. It says a lot. I did think about doing that scheme or another one in America, which was, I think it was called Camp America. Oh, yeah, I remember that, because it but, was like, uh, you get to go over to America and yeah. do part of the summer camp. I might do that one day. Maybe. Maybe. But anyway, as the time of going off showed, we are going, running a little bit long on this seg- section, so I think... We should probably bring it to a close. Yeah. So we'll move on onto a very exciting, slightly different, but hopefully entertaining next section. One in the hand. This is the best jingle we could come up with. Go ahead and try to make a better one. One in the hand. It a is. very exciting one in the hand. A new new thing. Sort that of. That we're trying out. Kind of. Yeah. But it's just new and old at the same time. Now, what we normally do with one in the hand is we essentially... Um, create our own card, our own special cards for a card game, loosely based off of top trumps. Yeah. Now we've been doing, we've done that for such a long time that we realised that if it was an actual top trumps deck, we'd have a whole deck. It was my idea. So yeah, your idea. My idea. To be fair, it was my. The game was my idea. Your game, yeah. My idea was come up with a oh, season. Yes. Basically, that was your idea and everything else was my idea. Yes, exactly. You printed them, though. I did print them off. Um, so, we decided that for this episode, we would print out the cards. I would come up with some rules. Yeah. And we would actually play with some of the cards that we have. Yes. So. We have them all printed out, but it takes a faff to cut them all out. It did. So, we have, we've got them all printed, haven't got them all in our hands. And also, as a way to potentially shorten the things, because we don't know how long it's going to take. Yeah. We have, we have um, got ten cards each, mm-hmm. and then for now e- each card has six um, scores for different categories. Those are speed, intelligence, style, control, damage, and aggression. Always yeah. return to robot wars. They also have a special skill. Now the special, no, the, the first six categories work as work normally, unless if certain circumstances come up, which we'll, I'll get to in a minute. It'll be, you get that score, okay, say my score is higher than your score, yep. then that means I win, I will get that card in my hand, much like Top Trumps. Mm-hmm. And, uh, however, in, for a start, first first change, instead of the player who won the last round controlling mm-hmm. what ca- um, what category is chosen, in, instead, you roll, you can either roll a dice, or in this um, scenario, use a spinner. 
Yes. The number will designate each thing. For example, one to six, one is speed, two is intelligence, three is... You, you, you can get what I mean. It's one... Wait, what, one is speed, two is intelligence, three star, four control, five damage, six aggression. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Right, I've just got it. Yeah, I haven't looked at my first card. My first card is interesting. Um, interesting too. And now, if you get this number has seven things on it yeah. for special skill. Yeah. Well, special skill is an extra uh, gimmick to it. Mm-hmm. Instead, each player gets a minute to debate why their special skill would beat the other one's special skill. Whoever gives up the best debate wins. So it has a nice little thing to it. But the uh, but first per- last person to have all of the cards will win. However, there are a couple of extra things I've put in as well. These... Disgusting things. These are not part of the original meta. These are... <laughs> okay. Uh, no, these they're cool. They're cool. are wild cards. Each player will get a certain amount of wild cards each for each game. Mm-hmm. For this scenario, we will have two wild cards each. When you play a wild card, you have to play it before the wheel is spun. Yes. And that and the wild card will affect the game. For example, if there is one which I don't think we cut out, there's one where you have to put your card down, and wherever your card is, the idea is that card. Has, I've, I've, yeah, it's called, we actually called it I called it Electric Dreams yeah and that card, the person who's on that card or wherever it is on that card has just released an autobiography what is it called so the round then becomes a game of trying to figure out what their what awesome. biography is called yeah. funniest one wins and so these wild cards they, they can change the game sometimes small ways sometimes massive ways it depends so I think so one, in fact, actually, yeah, one chance yeah one chance come all the both, you know. In in that particular scenario, yes. Yes. So, right. Um. In fact, Tim, take one of two of the four wild cards in my hand. I'll take those two. I have my two. And now we'll keep those. Or keep, keep Down them there. in your mind. And I'm going to keep them at the back of can my. I look at them. You can look at them. We're going to look at them now. Okay. You've got the interesting ones. <laughs> Well, maybe you don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. So, I think is that, I think that explains the rules yeah. relatively well. So, should we just crack on? Sure, let's go for it. Let's play this game. So, first go. I'm guessing you don't want to use a wild card first go. Um, I mean, I could. I'm going to look at my other cards. In fact, actually, I'm, I'm relatively tempted to actually use a wild card. And also, also, one of the things that should be... No, no, I'm definitely uh, holding on to okay, it. Okay, actually, well, actually, one of the things that I should stress yep. is that is that if one lucky... Uh, uh, what? Lucky? What am I talking about? Um, <laughs> I'm going mad. If one wild card is played, that is the wild card for that round. You cannot then put another one on top of it. Yeah. So it's a case of first come, first serve. Mm-hmm. Simply because it's the first round, even though it would probably be advantageous for me, given the card that I have. Let's keep it basic. I'm going to keep it basic, for at least for this go, maybe the second go. So spin go your off. wheel. Spin the spin wheel. Spin the wheel. How do you spin it? Uh, do that. Sick. I've got the Google thing up. It is number two. Which that is... is intelligence. What is your intelligence score? Do you know what? That's the worst one of mine. Trust me, it's not going to be worse than mine. Oh, mine's pretty pants. Go ahead and tell me. Eight. One. Yikes, who did you have? Hungry Very cat- Hungry Caterpillar. Hungry Caterpillar? If it had been five, that would have just been the best moment of podcasting ever made. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I... Do you want to know what my card was, or should I keep it silent? Uh, you can keep... Well, yeah, it's up to you, actually. I'm going to keep it silent. Okay, right. No, I'll tell you, it was a cheeky girl. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> right. Maybe I should ask you, considering this is my number, what do you reckon it was? Yeah, I don't. Do you reckon you were going to guess Cheeky Girls? No, no, no I no. probably wouldn't. Um, okay. Right, should we um, go again? No, oh, fuck. Because, well. I mean, do you, okay, now, do you want to use a wild card for this round? I'm thinking. I don't think I will. Um, wow, I've got. No. No? Okay, let's spin I'm the wheel. On, I'm confident with this card. That was a bad spin. I'm going to spin it again. Okay, well, it'll do. It was. Well, six. That is aggression. Do you know what? I'm. I lost. What's your aggression score? It's nil point. Nil point. Mine is thirty-seven. That was the worst one of the whole thing. <laughs> That's the only. My, the rest of my deck. The rest of this card was top point. Now you have to give me the card. It's a pretty good card, now. Oh right. Drones. Drones. 
I'll keep my card. Oh, you beat was. By. Um, was I beaten by? Uh, I won't tell you. Look, I told you, cheeky girl. Okay, Julius Caesar. There you go. <laughs> That's an, that's an odd phrase out of context. I told, I told you, cheeky girls. Okay, Julius Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Next one. Oh, actually, you know what? To spice things up, yeah. this is a risk. I'm mm-hmm. going to play one of my wild cards. Should we read them out? I think we should make yes, a point I'm of reading read out. I just, we should make a point of reading out also the ri- the descriptions of these characters. Oh, well, once we tell them, once we've got not straight away, obviously, because that just reveal which card we have. Yeah. But afterwards, because they each card I just put in a nice little thing for them, but. I'm going to play the wild card called Lucky Number. Yeah. It's very simple. The card with the selected category is score closest to 12 wins. My 12. Because it's my lucky number. I should have asked you what your lucky number was. Do you have a lucky number? No. Uh, there, there you go. No. Also, I like it because it's close to 13, but not quite 13. I have an unlucky number. Is it 13? No, it's three. Oh, well, there you I go. I find it very difficult to do three a cool thing three times on the trot. I can do it two times on the trot and the third time it just collapses. So, it should also be stressed that, and this is this is a setup for a fall completely from me. But if the category selected is special skill, the card's effect is invalidated. So be careful. Oh, okay. So let's hope it's not su- number seven. We get spinning the wheel. It's exciting. Three, mm. three. Okay. So remember, it is the number closest to twelve. Three is style. How many would you get style? Ten. That's yeah. close to 12. That's pretty close, isn't it? What's yours? Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, you got Roosevelt. I had two Theodore, really Theodore close. Roosevelt. President. Serial park opener. Had far too many pets. Google it. If you had too many. Too many pets. He looked, I bet yeah. he was a really cool chap to be alone. He probably was. My card there was um, Shaggy. Specifically live action. Mm. Part of the mystery cult. Not omnipotent. Not he omnipotent. Isn't. So, okay, so that wild card is now involved. Let's open it over there. Okay, okay so... Uh, do you want to play a wild card? Just... No. Okay, no, you don't? No. Okay, I'll still spin... Car- my... I don't either. I'll still spin the wheel. pretty mediocre. Mediocre. Oh, you got a seven. We got a seven. Interesting. So, that now means that we have to... I do... don't even get the joke on this one. I don't get okay, it. No, Tim. I looked at this card. In fact, this is one of the few cards I actually did look at when I was looking at it and I went, I don't Tim get that. Dropped, Tim just dropped his thing. I really hope I don't get that. Goodness me, my deck doesn't seem to be going the way I want it to So, go. right, let's... um, <sighs> Right. So, Tim, I'll let you go first. In fact, actually, we should state what our card's special skills are. First, what's so what's yours? yours? Mine is addiction. Just addiction. Just addiction. What's yours? Moving bricks to Brixton. Right. Okay. I don't so get bricks to Brixton. It's a it's a lyric. Well, it's funny. So just just try and interpret it in a certain way. So if it, actually we'll, we won't say a minute. We'll say thirty seconds. Thirty seconds to that they why bricking bricking bricks <laughs> um, moving bricks to Brixton would beat addiction. Starting now. So uh, yeah, moving bricks to Brixton. I'm imagining if uh, Robbie Williams, Robbie, yeah, Robbie Williams yes. had uh, had made it as a singer, he could have been perfectly fine. As, uh, as a builder, as a builder, and bricks, frankly, are just the building blocks to society. <laughs> and so, moving bricks from one place to the other, Brixton. I don't know what Brixton's uh, economy is like at the moment. I'm just gonna say, if they need more bricks. He's your guy. Yeah, and that's it. Done. You got that. Um, uh, twenty-eight seconds, and then, <laughs> so right. Um, so I've got to get. I've got to debate why addiction would be moving. <laughs> Moving bricks. So now, addiction is a very um, abstract concept. So I'm going to focus more on, almost more on yours. No, on moving bricks to bricks. But no, no, not as in like um, giving a debate for yours, but to say why addiction would beat it. Because if the builders here are addicted to Pringles, which is the card, as they, as is their right, why would they have the ability or the want to move said bricks? It would make it invalid, so therefore, my card would win. 30 seconds exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to say no. <laughs> well, you right. spo- I mean, it's interesting you fo- focus on a very specific point of addiction. Nobody ever thinks of addiction in a positive light. Nobody well, goes, no. oh, do you know what? I'm addicted to crack cocaine. Isn't that great? Well, yes, but you were, saying, you were saying bricks were the thing of society. Yeah, that's positive. Well, yes, but that doesn't necessarily mean it would beat, beat addiction. It's certainly more constructive. 
Well, y- y- yes. It's a better thing. It's just better. Building is better. I know, than but the addiction would would trump it. If that was the case, the world would have ended by now. now, is it, now well, no, I'm not saying that every single For builder people, would just no, give up. Yeah, no. Here's the reality: if more people were addicted to whatever than building things, we wouldn't have houses. You know what? I will give this one to Bam. you. Come on! I know. I give get, it because I, get I, I can't. I, I don't think I can worm my way around that. Like, <laughs> you can't. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. So, so that was a win for Timothy. Yes. Now I'm looking at my card. I don't think I want to use my other wild card. Do you want to choose any of your wild cards? <laughs> You're being relative. Do you know what I'm going to do for the mad? Actually, no. Would I do that because it'd be weird? Well, <laughs> I think I know which card you're trying to play, but. <laughs> just do it come on no I'm not going to ok you're going to wait because it would just be weird <laughs> no but you've got to play it at some point yeah I'll play it later I'm not playing ok it right <laughs> ok I mean to be fair given I think, I think I know what you're referring to I think we'd both be a bit stuck here but right let's spin the wheel yeah the wheel is spinning the wheel is spinning it's number two Intelligence. Wow! I hate myself, apparently. Right, okay. <laughs> I gave my, you gave me, you gave me 14. Oh, you've got your own card. I've got walkers, and the intelligence score is 25. Straight down. Why? <laughs> Why did we give it 25? I don't know. The Pringles. No, it's walkers. Walkers. You just won the Pringles card, Tim. Nah! <laughs> You're going to have to give me your card, I'm afraid. Do you know what? I was going to play the wild card. <laughs> I just realised I know which one you're playing. Be... Is shag, is marry, or kill? <laughs> do, I, do I want to rather marry myself, shag myself, or kill myself? But the thing is, when there's only two cards, the, simply to make sure that something wins, the marry option is, re- is removed. Would you rather kill Pringles or kill yourself? But I'd probably kill Pringles. No, I should have just done that one. Right, so unfortunately, would, you, would, you, would you rather kill me or kill Pringles? I, d- I don't know. I don't, Let's be frank. It's not Pringles as well, it's Walkers, Tim. Yeah. Right, it's just... Um, You've got your walkers, crisps, pretty coloured packets. I think we're just hungry that episode. Yeah. Timothy Broad, show host, building enthusiast, brony regretter. Mm-hmm. All of which are true. Right, okay. Um, okay, I'm not going to play a wild card. I'm you playing gonna... a wild card. Yeah, are you playing the wild card? I think you're playing. Are you... no, I'm playing. I'm playing check off, shag, marry, I kill. I think the rule with it, the player who draws please, this card. Can, please, actually, Tim, yes. just a quick request. Mm-hmm. Given the card that I have, please. Play the Shag Mary Kill card. Mm. <laughs> I would, but I actually, come on. I'm losing pretty badly here at the moment. Well, uh, this is strategic yes. here, man. Come on, no. You, you'll but know it when I put my card down. Also, I know what the answer is. The thing is, like, no, I just. Come on, do it. No, do it. I want to win. It. Okay. I want to actually have a chance, and you'll see why this, with his ratings. <laughs> okay. They, I think so. The player who draws his card and the player directly to the left. So, we, so now this we is us. Out. Okay, right, you're going to see what card I have. So we have to swap cards. And I know the statistics for this, although it makes no difference. Right, I'm going to put your card face down. Mm. Give you, right, Just look you, at oh, it purely... Oh, put, put your wild card on the... Yeah, sofa, look at it surely sure in a purely it's... statistic manner. Right, I see what you've done. <laughs> oh, fuck, you know what? It's going to actually kind of be closer than I thought it well, was. Well, again, it depends on the category. And to find that out, we're going to spin the wheel. Three, that is style. Oh, Oh, of course it was. What was it? What's his style? What, my, uh, the card I was given yeah. was Neville Chamberlain. What did we give his style? Which is Prime Minister, flung around a piece of paper. Yes, Just cocked it up, didn't he? Nine. Oh, my God! Oh, it's so rubbish! Seven style for Admiral Akbar. <laughs> what? How many stats would I beat you on? Um, uh, one, two, three, four, four. Oh, it's one in t- That's the nature of the game. Damn, I'm just losing. Also, Admiral Akbar's car- card. Fishman. Rebel Scum. Juice's tactics too late. As funny as it would have been to do the shag mar- uh was it the shag or kill? Um, I don't really want to kill Chamberlain. I, I would. Why? Well, compared to Akbar, I'm well, I don't, Akbar. I don't. I mean, want... I realise in canon he's already dead. I wouldn't want to kill Chamberlain. But would you want to shag Akbar? Actually, on that note, come to think of it. Why would you want to kill him? I pity. I don't pity. I, Chamberlain, his thing, he wasn't a bad person. <laughs> In fact, he was just too good. He was just too of a nice person. Here's, I remember hearing a great quote. We, we punished it for that. But look, anyway, we have no, I, I, we have I, I no remember, time. I remember hearing this phrase, how good 
should a leader be? Like, how morally good should a leader be? That's yeah. a good question. True, but before we go into del- delving into philosophical yeah. depths, mm-hmm. I'm not going to play a wild card. Are you going to play a wild card? No. Okay, I'm going to spin the wheel. This game's rigged. Four. That is control. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, dear. Well, it's not a good score for me. Not great My score, score is 11. Mine's well, 19. Oh, what control, was your... Control, right? Yeah. Uh, I was Mr. Blobby. How do I Mr. describe Blobby. this? Sorry. The game is control. <laughs> Mr. Blobby is 19 control. I'm going to take this shot. You that we, I think, gonna... I think we did it with... It was Noel Edmonds and Mr. Blobby. So basically, yeah. m- Mr. Blobby had just... When you Noel see... Edmonds was basically... Given what spirit. card he has just beaten. Yeah. That makes no sense. No, the reason why we gave him low control <laughs> Attenborough. is David Attenborough. Because David Attenborough, his oh, whole point is that we. I just lent on this. His his whole point is that we don't into. He doesn't in. He doesn't interfere. interfere. Yes. Mister Blobby was just a nuisance. I suppose so. Fuck. <laughs> now, right, okay. Right. Well, for this next card, this could be one of the worst cards ever. Okay, I'm not. I was gonna play a wild card. My other wild card, but I know what my other wild card is. And so I'm not going to play well, it. Because of what I said. Yes. Bollocks. That's, and you're not, you're not going to play a wild card yourself? But, you know what? Let's go. For, oh, whoever gets the most shags wins. No. <laughs> no. No, okay. that's okay. Right. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Same for the question. Where do you Spinning put the it? wheel. Where do you put it? Oh, it's a four again. Oh, I'm afraid that's yours. Now, right. So my control was 24. <laughs> what was yours? Not. I think I saw what your card was. Is it the front side of the Titanic? Yeah, that's why I was if I played the shag card, where do you put it in? Well well that's another question because my card was me. Mm. <laughs> well the front of the Titanic's already pretty. You put it dead. in the back, don't you? Hmm? I'll put it, you put it in the back. The back of the front This is for the front side of the t- Titanic. But it had holes um, in the front oh, no. Well yeah, but I think just 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 logically you you use the um <laughs> you use the <laughs> use the front. Right, okay. Um Okay. <laughs> Oh. No, no, no wild card use from you again? Is my hand really that pants? Yeah, it is actually that pants. Okay, right, let's let's spin the wheel. Oh, I can't complain because I have no control over this. Yeah. Oh, it's a seven. It's a debate, which is annoying because that's my one my card's real weakness. What mm. is your special skill? Mm. Well, I have to. Don't we have to debate it? Well, you have to say what your special skill is. I will debate it when we begin. Okay, I'll let you start then. Don't uh, believe me. I think. We have pretty good... Comp- uh, we have pretty... Uh... Okay, right, Tim? You're, you should be pretty confident. I know you said yours is weakness. Mine is not. Yours is not a weakness. No, mine is a weakness. You, yours will not be weaker than mine. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. Technically, I don't actually exist. <laughs> so... Stop that! It's not like that. Not like that timer. <laughs> um, that's probably the one I, I mean. Was. Right. Okay. I'm just going to debate mine. Just... All you have to do is say one word and you win. Right. Well. One word and you okay, win. Okay. Right. I'm going to say I have nothing more than one. Word. How do you argue not existing? Right, that's Howard the Duck. How um, do you, yeah. How do you right, argue not okay. existing? Um. Well, my special skill is. Wait. Are you Sherlock? Bam. You won. So Bam. I suppose recognition. It is, he's been recognised as Benedict Cumberbatch. You cannot recognise Howard the Duck. You can't recognise nothing. He doesn't exist. <laughs> you, can't even, you can't even comprehend nothing. This is going so well for me, this game. Jesus Christ. How could I... There was no way I could debate nothing. What could I say? Well, I it's thought, all in your imagination. Why did I never think of that as a weakness for that card? When I, when I, I saw that and I thought, you could, you, could, you could do something with that. But then you said it, you put it to me like that. I was like, oh God, you can't actually debate that at all. <laughs> right, anyway. Right, um, any any wild card from you? Yes. I'm, you're going to use your wild card. I'm going to use my wild card. Okay, what's your wild card? I think we all know what it is. A very mature game. <laughs> Shag, marry, Each kill. must put their cards into now, the middle. Okay, round. Tim, what is your card? Brian Cox. Oh, suggested Dashing name. Man. Dashing man. However, I feel like I might win this. I disagree. My card is Earth, Wind and Fire. I win. Do you? Yeah, I'll tell you so. Are you telling me that you would rather shag Brian Cox than Earth, Wind and Fire? All of them. Statistically higher possibility of getting a sexually transmitted infection. <laughs> um, and I, I can. I, I mean, and in my humble opinion, 
I'd say he's contributed more to society than Earth, Wind and Fire. I know, but isn't necessarily a reason why you should shag them. Well, the other option is kill them. Well, yeah, but also, killing Earth, Wind and Fire would be a lot more work than killing Brian Cox. Earth, Wind and Fire... There's more of them. Earth, Wind and Fire... That could become more difficult. Are they still producing music? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they are. If I think some of them are probably well, already... Certainly not if it's commercial peak, if it is. If I'm they sure are. that they're already dead, probably. Some of them are, some of them are already dead, okay? <laughs> I mean, again, I cannot confirm, he nor than I. has a hell of a lot more left to offer to society. And that's why you're shagging him. Yes, because the other option is killing them. My debate isn't... <laughs> is to not kill him, to not kill Brian Cox. As, as annoying as it is, given that it's your, obviously your card... I'm more thinking now about the logistics of shagging Earth, Wind and Fire. Well, that's going to be a gangbang. It's a lot of work. Well, it's either going to be a gangbang or it's going to be all of them consecutively. And I feel like I'd just be worn out at that space. So I think, Tim, I think you do win that round. Damn, son. So congratulations. Cheers. Earth, Wind and Fire swing. Soul Band. Boogie Connoisseurs. Do you remember? Have you used both your wild cards? I have not. I've still got one wild card in play. I needed a... I was not confident with Brian Cox's abilities, apart from his... Well, 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 let's see how it would have gone for me. I would have lost. I, do you know what? I had a, hot, I had a 50-50 chance. Nah. Okay. I'm happy. Right. At least I've got a decent card now. So, okay, I'm, gonna, let's, I'm not going to use my world card, so let's spin the wheel again. Isn't it fun? I feel like a game show host. Four, again. Four's coming up very often. Control. Aha, uh-huh, you have the Hunger Caterpillar. We've got back Excellent. to the centre because I have Julius Caesar and his control is 48. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so. Oh, fuck. I should have used that one. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I should have used the. Ch- oh. Well, Shake Mary Kill. I'm very hungry Caterpillar. No, no, no. no for oh, this for this now, next for one. This next card. Just be- I mean, given the card I've got, I've got I'm assuming you probably automatically win. But Just because at one point in many teenagers' minds, it probably dawned upon. I can't wait to see what this card is. I actually know I know what this card is. Yeah, of course. Um, Right, let's spin the wheel. (laughs) That's four again. Jeez, what you broke in it, man? I'm just spinning it. Yeah, I know, but you're not. Do you want me to spin it again? I reckon your tempo of spinning must be so. Right, spin it again. For the spirit of fairness, seven. Another debate. So Tim, what is your your special skill? I want to. No, I think you should introduce it. Actually, okay, yeah, you know what? That's a fair point. Do you want, actually, do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go, go, first for, yeah, go, go for it. Now, right. Now, through deduction, I have figured out that your card is a Cheeky Girls. Excellent. Now, the Cheeky Girls are... I can't remember exactly where they're from. I think they might be... They might be... But they're certainly... They're certainly European. I thought they were Portuguese. You're right, Portuguese. Or Latvian. Now, this, this battle occurs in the UK. So, therefore, it is an automatic win for me because my special skill is closing an airport. They would not be able to even turn up. Case closed. There you go. Ready? Here's my. Okay, okay, let's. Starting now. They live in Bexhill. No, they, no, they don't. No, they do. No, they I'm, don't. I'm afraid they do live in Bexhill. They do not live in Bexhill. They live in Bexhill. <laughs> they, no, I've, sorry, I'm or refusing like this. I refuse to believe that they live in I, Bexhill. I, pet I, level. Maybe, but even so, I don't believe. Also, in, uh, I think that's I know, that's the spice of the point. I was going to say, yeah, cringe-inducing flashbacks, because everybody loves a cringe-inducing flashback for the humour, for the bants, for the memes. For the memes. Right, okay, then stop. That's. Just... I'm, I'm sorry, Tim, but quite apart... Let's find out where they live. Quite apart from... The... You can Google that. So your whole... Well, here's the thing. Right, Literally okay. It comes down to, if they don't live in the UK, you've won. But if yeah. they do, you've lost. How about, your, how... your whole case in point was, they don't live in the UK. Okay, They're... how about this, Tim? You, no, you can't argue anymore. Uh, yeah, I suppose I have over. put all of my argument. You yeah, have, your, have. Ar- your argument was. I have put all of my argument in one in one thing, and and your Wi-Fi <laughs> now, given you're googling it. Did you, it's a bit of a weird thing to Google. Where do the cheeky girls live? Yeah. Cheeky girls live. Um, the personal. Um, if you can't find out, then if you can't find out, then I suppose it'd probably be a win for me. 
just by virtue of the fact there's nothing that can actually stop that argument. They performed, right? They may perform somewhere, but I don't mean they no, live there. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Oh. Tim, for sake of time's sake. Dude, no, because this is, I need this, man. Okay, right, Tim. You've got, right. you've got 30 seconds, starting now, to give us a conclusive answer. If you can't, then I win that round. I think that's fair. You have all of Google on your side. You started the timer. Uh, yeah. I started it 15 seconds ago. I found an episode. I, I, do you know what? Oh. Can you find it? Six. No, five, go away. Four, Leave me alone. Three. I'm on the star, two, man. Two. Ah! One. Yeah, the UK. Okay, prove it. Well, I can't. Sh Hang on. I've got an advert show coming me. up. I'm on the, show I'm me. I'm on the Daily Star. Sh on the Daily Star. Yep. Because, well, the website's doing something funky. Let me show you. Let me show you. I mean, you. Tim, we... <laughs> See, this is the interesting thing that you wouldn't get in a normal game of Top Trump. Wait, wait, hang on. Here's a question. Why does this 30 seconds mean that you win? Because the idea is, is that if you can't Sorry, prove... Sorry, I'm just now getting You porn. cannot prove... Oh, what? It's just... It's just what? It's just, well, because Daily Star used to have their page too. I guess they're not out in the newspapers, so it's just coming up with... A... Right, okay. I'm sh well, the idea is, is that if you have no conclusive evidence that they live in the UK... Therefore, my argument still stands. And you did say that if my yeah. argument can still stand, then it would okay. win. Okay. I believe that... Um, assuming this is the same article, which I bloody hope... Yeah, yeah, it is. One, they live in um, York, North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire? One of the couple live in... Uh, like they got married and one of them live in North Yorkshire. And I think Where's the other one live? Let's find out. What happens if only one of them lives in the UK? <laughs> they come as a duo in the cards, so... If it's only one of them lives there, I suppose maybe it'd go back to my... No! Fuck, no! I know, but that's only half of your card. <laughs> well, I could... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's not interesting. Who gives a shit? <laughs> you know what? Me? Spirit of fairness and saving time, I I'll let you have that. Oh, they're Romanian, by the way. Uh, Romanian? I did think they were Romanian. Yeah. But I, I just didn't say anything, so... Right, let's move on. Why don't I just type in Cheeky Old Bexhill? You probably would have worked, but look, Tim, let's, let's no. move on. Holy shit, man. Uh, I'm the, I am not playing my wild card. You haven't got any wild cards to do. So I let's... would imagine they'd live in the UK. And I'll tell you why. Because they got famous in the UK. Fair enough. Let's spin and... the wheel. I'm moving on from that. <laughs> what was your card that I thought? Yeah, drones. Drones. I thought again. Dude, what is your rolls, man? Like, I will go for it. It's yeah. just the, the wheel. What's yours? Yeah. 31. Oh, uh, nine. Nine. Jeez, Matt, every time you... Right, I'm rolling in this Right, time. OK. Actually, well, b -b 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 I know what you... Next round, I'm playing my last wild card. Oh, OK, what's that? Bottom of the alternatives. It's time for opposites. When this card is played, the lowest score wins for the next turn. Do you know what? So the one time I think didn't want you to do that. OK, there you go. Could you... Oops, can, I, can I spin it, fam? Because this is... I'm calling hacks here. Oh, is it a touch-sensitive one? Yeah. He's... Fingerprint? Well, yeah, the ID, yeah. Do it. It's... That was awful. <laughs> But it was Number two. two. Ooh. What's, what's your intelligence? 16. Oh. What's yours? 26. Ah. Uh, You're not stopping. No. I want to lose. <laughs> well, we've got, we've got a certain amount of time. Look. Right, okay. Well, right, what things would I have beat you in, in a normal case? Uh, in a normal case, you would have beat me in intelligence. Yeah, and? And style. Yeah. And control. Yeah. And aggression. Damn. So I would have five Sometimes one. you've got to play the card right. And I played. I played, I played both my wild cards on point. You did, you did. But I, I think I did quite well as well. I wonder which one it's not going to be. It's going to be control because you've got that wrong. Well, it's seven. Yeah. One last debate. With this, I think it will end the um end the thing, and then we can sure. count out how many cards yeah. we have. So, do you want me to go first? Mm, yeah, go for it. Okay. Now, this battle will happen. On a normal plane of existence. So, quite frankly, it is very simple. Mm -hmm. Any opponent, any challenge, any scenario can and will be figured out with maths. Uh... I'm going to beat you with your own card. Stop. Okay. Anything can be figured out with maths. Beat that, sunshine. Start. Even here. <laughs> we 
can see that the male is using his minor virtue of mass incompetence to prove his <laughs> prowess. But clearly, the victor goes to the one whose legacy is immortalised in the calming voice of David Attenborough. Stop. So, now, that is an interesting two things. I'm going to just say... Yours doesn't actually trump maths. It's just that Atom were giving a voiceover. What would you rather? What do you mean, what would I rather? What would you rather? In, in this lecture? In this scenario. Well, no. Or David Nash but it isn't a game of lectures. It's a game of which would beat the other. And I, I've clearly brought out that anything can be solved and will be solved with maths. So, mm. even. even at, you, could, you could calculate how to make a voice like Attenborough's. So, unfortunately, Tim, I think I do, do have you, to win this game. Do, do you want cold logic, or do you want... In a fight scenario, yes. Oh, good point. And with that... Oh, just, no, you've won, fam. It's over. Let, let's just... No, you let's, don't, we don't need to count. Let's just count how we many don't need to count. We don't need to count. We don't to need count. to count, Tim, but, but, but you want we've to... got people listening who need to know. Yeah, we're 15 to 5. 15 to 5. Have you got, so you've got five cards? Yes. One, two, You don't need to count three, 15, fam. Four, Why are you count? It's because you want to take... Seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, You're 16. exactly correct, I wonder maths. why. Well, there you go. Bam. There's your math score. You can have my cards back. You can have these cards back. I am the victor. You can take them home, which, actually. I, I wouldn't mind that, actually. Yeah, take them Once card. you've cut them out, I'll, I'll, I'll take oh, them. Do you reckon, have you got scissors at home? Or do you not trust scissors? I do, well, I do, but I mean, would I be able to cut it? I would not be able to cut it out, right? Fair enough. I'll finish cutting them out and then give no, them I can to take you. Them home. Do you reckon we could... Uh, do you reckon we should, at some point, either play, play this with um, Kieran and Jordan? No. Why not? <laughs> because we've got bad games. We've got good But it's a change. It's different, sure. Sure. We will maybe. We'll see if they're interested. Do you reckon, do you reckon if you could, if they got really interested we could actually get them on camera and film a whole game? I don't think they want to do that. Ah. I don't think. Okay. Well anyway, on that victorious note for me, fittingly moving on to a segment that I've never won. So let's do it. Let's move on. This drink was a mistake. Tim is drinking alcohol. It's almost satire. It's just because it's the only thing I could find in my room. It's that really says a lot. Down. But will it will it hit him? Find out. I think no. Probably not. I don't think it'd it be will. great if we do know. Mm-hmm. If we do, that's a weird way of phrasing it. But anyway, almost satire. It's almost satire. The fake news game. That is pretty much what it is, and that's the resource that you use to get your stories. Because each week, one of us finds some stories from wherever. Tim finds you put them over there. Oh, come you, back! Uh, hold on. Well, I'm filling though. Oh shit! Yeah. Good okay. So, so Tim's gonna go and get them. Why don't I put them over there? Oh, because you put. I don't know. You had to put them down to fill, fill the drink. Oh, they're in my pocket. Don't oh worry. shit! Anyway, that that was that that minute or so, that thirty seconds or whatever it was is completely pointless now. But anyway, um, yeah, we find stories from wherever. Tim has a game called Fake News Game, which he takes his from. I try and find them from. Basically, the BBC website because mm. is where I look for, for odd stories, mm. and we, we um yeah, they're, they're all relatively funny. We will take them to our other co-host, and it is our co-host's job to figure out of the three which one is a dirty, dirty fake, it's a dirty lie, two are real, one is fake. Yeah, actually, it was a, um, <clears throat> come to think of it, uh, Tom Scott has come up with a very similar game for like you know uh, tech detective. People did citation needed. Yeah. They're doing these formats. And they, they have a game called Two of These People Are Lying. <laughs> but basically, all three of them find a Wikipedia article. They write the name of the Wikipedia article down and make sure to write it down um, with different people writing it down so that people don't get fooled, fooled by handwriting or one person will write it down. And then Tom picks up a piece of paper, reads out the thing, and then each person has to explain what that thing is an article about. Mm-hmm. And two of them are completely bullshitting, and Tim, Tom's got to try and fill, find a real one. It's right. a very similar thing. It's a very enjoyable thing. I enjoyed. What's the show again? Two of these people are lying. There's three episodes of it so far. Oh, okay. So you, you might what give it a watch. What was the show you used to do? They used to do Citation Needed. 
No, no, no. Like, didn't he have like a game show? Well, what was to do with like um, lateral thinking? Oh, just lateral. Oh, it's called lateral. Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, ah. So, that, enough of Tom Scott. Mm-hmm. I think it's you, you, your turn to do most of the talking because you've got the cards. Did you mentioned it was from the game, the fake news. Yes, did. Yeah, fake news game, game, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good fun party game. I recommend picking it up. It's uh, yeah, it was alright. Just fun to play. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, <clears throat> first story. Okay. Uh, shall I reveal if it's uh, true or not? Oh, no. No, no, it's objective. <laughs> 19th of May, 2017. Okay. Man sues woman for texting during date and wins. Right. A Texas man has sued his date for... Texas. <laughs> A Texas man has sued his date for £17.31... Sorry, $17.31... Sense. Sense. Is that the cost of the meal? The, no, That's not an impressive meal. The price of the cinema tickets. Oh, right. After she texts during the movie, the man paid for the pair to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh, this game's, this game's still pretty relevant then. I thought it was a lot. Well, you, I mean, Tim, you literally have the date of it yeah, good point. on the card. I thought there was a loss in that. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and said she kept sending and receiving messages on her phone. She eventually went outside and drove off leaving him without a ride home. The man won the case receiving his money back. Well, she just sounds like a right bitch, doesn't she? She does. First question. Yeah. What was the price? $17.31. Why is a f- why is this cinema giving out tickets at a rate of $17.31? Is that like a thing? With- Actually, is that a thing? I think in America you have the price, but then that doesn't include tax. Oh yeah, most things it doesn't include. So it VAT. might be have VAT added on. So but even though that sounds miserable. Maybe. Um, any other questions? Um, first or secondly, I'd have thought that the. I feel like I don't know whether it's the wording of the headline, but I'd have more sued for leaving him without a ride home than Probably getting texts. Sooner, can you? True, I suppose. Also, if I kind of feel like if more people knew that you could sue for te- getting texts and texting too much in a cinema, then the legal system would be rife. With... I wonder, if I was him personally, although, granted, why am I criticising his method? Because he won, anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I was going to say, surely you'd perhaps just have a band from the cinema. Yeah. Also, $17.31, that's probably... I mean, unless if lawyers go really cheap in Texas. Which, I mean, somehow I could imagine, but... They, it's not going to cover it. This remember, is a, remember, no this win, is, no fee. Sh- no win, no fee. Yeah. Supposedly. So supposedly. is it advantageous not to win? <laughs> oh yeah. It depends how much money is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I think actually this I think that story might actually more be the case of obviously she she sounds like a bit of a twat, but clearly if the, if she's te- if she's been texting throughout their date. Clearly, he's not the most interesting of people. Well, the film, film was alright. Film was, yeah, film like, was a good film. It was a pretty good film. So actually, yeah, maybe she's got. Yeah. At least you'd be there for the film. Fam. Yes. But, okay, I'm ready to hear the second one. Don't be that with it. 18th of June, 2016. Okay, so you have 2017, 2016. Hipster class cancelled after a thousand people turn up. Right. A class on how to be a hipster had to be cancelled after 1,000 people turned up. The class in Camden was open for everyone to drop in. However, the <sighs> organisers hugely underestimated how popular it would be. I can't pronounce this name's, this person's name. Hugh Hawks Barring b- by Barring Boy Barring Boy <laughs> B-A-R-R-I-N-G-B-Y Barring B you should read it. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Hawks, Baron B. Where did boy come from? <laughs> Baron B. You said Baron Boy. boy. Baron Boy. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're going to hear. Hugh Hawks, Baron Hugh Hawks, Baron Boy. Hawk, by the way, Hawks there. Hawks. Is it Hugh Hawks as in H-A-W-K-S? Yes. In the bird? Yeah. That is a name that he has given himself. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of whether it's real or fake. <laughs> Oh, don't drop the cards. Hugh Hawk, you didn't see it. Didn't see it. No. Hugh Hawk. 
Hugh Barringby. Said, you just said Barrett B. Barrett B. Said it was amazing to see how many, see how many people were interested. But next time it will have to be ticketed. Okay. Now, do you want to know my thought process? Go for it. Read out. Just read out the card. And the whole thing. S- no, no. Read out until you get to where it's held, and I'll. Oh, you say I pronounce it? Camden. No, 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 no. Yeah, Camden. Camden. Okay, well, no. I was trying. I was trying to work something. Basically, I was trying to. Make up the joke. It's like I did not believe it until you said it was held in Camden. That is exactly the sort of thing that would happen in Where Camden. Where is Camden? S- uh, London. Yeah. Slightly oh no, south. I've been to Camden. Where is meant to be like the really happy kind of chill vibes place? That often do they do the car? Notting no, Not they- Hill. No. Notting Hill. Notting Hill Carnival. Yeah. Is that in Camden? I don't know. I don't know that's right, Camden. I went to a nice restaurant there, though, one time. I do know that there's, um, you know, there's a really big uh, UK wrestling promotion, which is rather... Or has somewhat of a hipster kind of image, sort of. Sort of. That is based in Camden. Right. Do you want me to read it again? No, no, it's fine. So okay. it's a hipster car. It's got a thousand people turning up. A thousand up. people turned up. Mmm... I mean, that does sound like the sort of thing. It, a, it sounds like the sort of thing that somebody would do for a laugh. <laughs> B, it sounds like the sort of thing that people would report on in the news. Because mm-hmm. they, they'd think they're doing it sincerely. Because because it, people in the new right-wing people who run news sites just love to hate on millennials and hipsters. They do. do you know, I was expecting this to be more like a... Uh, I'd, I'd expect this to find this like in a university, like a... Uh, an association like the Hipsters Association. Right, by the way, I've just Googled Camden. Yeah. This is the borough of Camden. Uh-huh. Whether that necessarily is what people consider as Camden yeah. or not is a debate for another time. But the London borough of uh, Camden, it had, it's got Hampstead Heath in it and the British Library is right next to London Zoo. Oh. And the British Museum. It's a weird shape. It is an odd shape. And it might not necessarily be what people call refer to as Camden. But that's what Google Camden Maps is not gave vibe me. about borders, it's about vibes. It is, it very much is. And on that note, I think go for the third story. Uh, 1st of October, this is the oldest one by the way. Okay. 1st of October 2014. 2014. 2014. Nine pound hairball pulled from girl's stomach. Nine pound is in weight. Yes. It wasn't sold online. It wasn't sold for nine pounds, <laughs> brilliant bargain. <laughs> Okay, this this pounds. name this name is not happening. A P Alexandra. Right. Okay. <laughs> Letters. Um. Okay. So a first name. A Y P E R I P E R A Apery Apery Alexiva 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 Apery Alexiva. Eight, I'm not pronouncing that again, okay? Okay, April Alexa. If a name comes up, April I'll try to Alexa, for you. 18, was complaining 18. of stomach pains and ended up being admitted into a hostel in... Where the fuck? Is that Kazakhstan? K, K-Y-R-G-Y... Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Never heard of it, but... is that, Where is that? Uh, that is... I've heard of Kazakhstan. It's kind of in that sort of area. Eastern Europe slash... Well, it's not really. Oh, it's Asia. It's Asia. Oh, there we go then. In fact, actually, I'm just going to go get it on Google Maps for you. Oh, of course I've heard of Kyrgyzstan. I don't know it, but I've heard of it. Okay, so, uh, not going to pronounce the name. 18, was complaining of stomach pains and ended up being admitted into a hospital in Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is south of Kazakhstan. There we go. Borders China and Tajikistan. Ah. Oh. There it is. Know much about it? Apart from his location? No. no. Doctors end up operating on her and removed a nine point nine point hairball from her stomach. Nine I point. Must, I assume that's a typo. I think it's going to say pound. It says no. a nine point. Sorry. It's just, just, it's just, a, it's just like a nine sided shape. Tell you what, this is really <laughs> Kyrgyzstan. No one is wrong. The doctors end up operating on her and removed a nine point hairball from her stomach. It says point. Right, okay. Doc- Doctor said that her habit of chewing the tips of her hair 
was the cause of the build-up, which ended up getting hair headlines around the world. Hair headlines? No, it's headlines. Sorry. I, 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 I Hell, headlines. A, here's the thing, I was expecting <laughs> a pun. Hitting hairlines around the world. I was expecting a pun. And then you it kind of subconsciously as he said hair. I was, <laughs> like, thinking, and, uh, I was just headlines around the world. Hitting headlines around the world quite poorly, I'd imagine. <laughs> um, now. Nine point hair. Why does it say point? Now, it's not even close to pound, is it? No. So, Ask questions now, about the story. The chew- it was caused by the chewing of her hair. Caused by the chewing the tips of her hair. She would have to be doing this an awful lot to achieve that. If it's just the tips of the hair. Right, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and get my own hair in my mouth now. This is going to go badly. But I do have a long... I think you had a haircut after me, didn't you? No, I had one before you. Oh, did you? Yeah. Ah. Because I remember I, was, I had a haircut from one of them. So, so your I think it was quick. I think it was the Bushners when we your filmed hair, it. Your haircut pretty. Your hair grows pretty quick. It does. Quicker than mine. Damn, son. Right, so I've got my hair in my mouth now, which is not a pleasurable experience, I must admit. No. But that's only that much hair. The worst length of hair. A I've very found. small amount of hair, basically, is what I'm saying. Right. I could have just said that rather than lo- demonstrating for hair. nobody because there's like, no like camera. Really long hair. Here's the thing: if you want to grow your hair, he probably does have very long hair. Probably maybe even when it round. I can imagine the worst point if you're trying to grow your hair long is when it's like at your eye level because it always gets into your eyes. But when it's gone beyond that and beyond your mouth, it's fine. Hmm. Yeah. Um. It's a lot of hair. Yeah. Also, I'm cats aren't just dead. <laughs> just dead. <laughs> it's just, it's just dead. Well, they're sick all the time. Actually, on the note of cats, yeah, another story from that tour that I had when the guy this shut down noise. Yeah. Um, one of the other things on the tour, actually, the thing right after the Donkey Cottage is in a pub called the Stag. Mm-hmm. They found two mummified cats in the chimney. Yes, I remember hearing about that. I couldn't remember which case. And if yeah. you look through the door, you can actually see them in the wooden case. Often times, oh, I kept them. Yeah, oftentimes I invite the kids up to have a look at it. So the kids come up, it's a bit, always it gets a little bit crowded on the staircase there. And then somehow, and I don't know how it gets there, but the fact it got there was so bizarre, suddenly there's a bit of a commotion. And in amongst the kids mm-hmm. is this is a furless cat. And I don't know well, where it came from. Cat. Yeah. So they thought, oh shit, well the cat's got out. <laughs> I did say that at the time, I did joke, oh, oh one of them's escaped. Mm-hmm. But it was so weird the fact it's not not just the fact that if just any old cat had turned up at that point, point that would have been a coincidence. It would have been quite funny. It was a furless cat. A furless cat. It looked quite cute, actually, to be fair. It's one of those Siamese, uh, not Siamese, the Egyptian cats. So yeah, really I think so. I find them really they were, it was a really I find them really creepy, man. I just think, well, the thing, if you just see pictures now. of them, yeah. then they look weird. But when you just look at, look at them in the flesh, they still and you weird. do look at them in the flesh. They still look weird. <laughs> but I just think, well, they look odd. But it's not like as odd as if you just look at the picture and you go, "Oh my god, it looks like a, it looks like a, it looks you, like an." Action. You get used to it eventually, but they're just so different to any other cat. I described it to my UK. dad as it looks like an actual cat who's like run into a really thick condom. <laughs> right. Yeah, and it's just squished all the hair in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a, there, was, right, there was an Egyptian cat. I love like, your reaction to that. In our area, they still look creepy because they're kind of like a weird beige colour. Yeah. Maybe they are just colour. Maybe it's the same cat. No, nah, chances are that happen. I've actually never seen those, uh, the mummified cats. What was the, what's the well, they, 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 thing behind them? Is it because they're... Uh, but the theory is, or the, really the, the thing that I tell the kids, is that they, they were put up there as a kind of ritual to try and keep witches away. That's what I thought it was as well. Yeah. I might have told you that before. Maybe, yeah. Uh, so, so anyway, back to the game. Yes. So, right, so we've got girl chewing on her hair. Uh, and having nine pound for fer- Nine pound, nine ball, point. Not verbal. No, nine, nine point, point. verbal. I don't want to have the fact that it has a typo. No. A bit... Equally, though, if you've been copied and pasted from an article that did have a typo... It was from Kyrgyzstan, then we may understand. <laughs> it might, yeah, it might have just been roughly translated. Yeah. And then uh, you had the hipster class, hipster class. and a thousand people, mm-hmm. which presumably the night after... No, presumably the next class, nobody turned up because it was too cool. Um, 
Ah. They wouldn't pay for a ticket. Too cool. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't pay. I don't pay for tickets with money, sir. So I just give you my my thanks and a link to my SoundCloud. <laughs> to be fair, you know, I want to know what hipster class is like. Uh... What is the point of the hips? What's the point? <laughs> What's, What's the, the point? <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> What's <That's>... he doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's. <laughs> Sorry, that, I'm writing that down because that is going in the the, the title of the episode. It's going to be. I don't know, like, like um, non-existing, pointless, hipster. yeah, non like non, like um, uh, <laughs> card games, not existing, and what's the point of a hipster? <laughs> no, but seriously, if you're a hipster, then email in to yeah. the Bush Podcast at gmail.com. Explain what it, well, explain what it means to, to be Pod, a hipster. T-W-O. And if it's like, is it like a passive activity or is it like an active one that you have to enforce? Like, you have to tell well, people... I, don't, I, don't, I think it's more of a habit, I'd say. But to tell... Right, my, my feeling is with a hipster, if you're having to go around and tell yourself you're a hipster, you're not a hipster. Yeah. That's, you're right there. If you ever advertise your hipsterness, you're not a hipster. You're, 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 that, you're, that, you're that close to just saying, or just thinking... That wearing a hat constitutes to having a personality. In fact, by the way, just t- Tim, I did feel like there was a bit of a moment there. You do have a tendency of wearing hats. Yes, I do. But that, but you don't. You, you're not the sort of person who thinks they're so quirky because they wear a hat. No, at least you're not now. I like the hat. <laughs> right, right, the Stetson is practical. Seriously, I wore it in the winter, and because it keeps the cold wind out of your face and the snow out of your face. And in the rain, if it turns to sleety, mush, mushy stuff, perfect. In the summer, it's even better. Adore it, yeah. right? And my trilby that I wear, I just think it goes well with the coat. Yeah, fair enough. And it's, I like it. So, anyway. so And then there was the other one, which, the other story. If the, if, yeah, so if you're a hipster, uh, what's the point? Yeah. And the um, other one was the woman texting during date and wins for $17. Now, I think that the hipster one. class one is real. Okay. And I think that mainly because of it being in Camden. If I get four by this one, I'm not going to be actually that annoyed because they've done well there. Is the, Brighton the, a hipstery place? Uh, it's got the hipstery, so. hipstery part. Yeah, it, yeah. Because we went along there when we were getting my tennis coat. Yeah. Is that hipster or is that nerdy? That's nerdy. Oh, come on. I want to hipster. <laughs> Go to the class. Um, uh, so you had the. The person suing for the date in Texas, y'all. Now, just shoo her. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a Texan solution. <laughs> shoot the phone out of my hand. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. Um, I think it was almost a citation needed going back to Tom Scott. Um, where there was a, um, uh, basically, there was a runaway train. Mm-hmm. And basically, something, there was a bit of a problem, and the train got released, and the, the, um, the throttle got stuck on. And then the, the the US police hear about this, and they decide, and they do happen to they hear about one of the things that you can do is that you can, um, there's a pull off like a direct power switch which will turn everything off. It's just a switch and the thing, and if you can throw it, everything will go off, it will stop, and they will be saved. So you'd have thought, presumably, they thought that the idea of telling them that would be they could power like a four by four or something, mm. like. Full pelt, catch up to it. Somebody heroically leaps into the cab, flicks a switch. Everyone's saved. Yeah. The US police didn't do that. The US police tried to shoot the switch. <laughs> Which, even if it wasn't moving, would be a stupid idea. Yeah, no, the whole, <laughs> but it was moving at 50 miles an hour. Because <laughs> here's the, trying to shoot things like buttons and stuff. The problem is it won't turn the thing off. It will just eviscerate the button. <laughs> Yeah, now it can't be turned off. No, it just, it was just, I don't know, you've got a 50 50 chance. Will it turn it off and then obliterate the button, or will it just obliter- obliterate the point where you can adjust the on and off ness? Mm. Yeah. And it's still um, on. Right. Now, I can, I can imagine, just trying to think of why they would fake it, I imagine maybe somebody in the office maybe had a similar situation that someone's right down on the card. I'm afraid it's not as creative as But. It I am going to say that's real because, quite frankly, I think that the Kyrgyzstan hairball 
has too many holes in it and it has a typo. And too many hairballs. Too many hairballs. Hairballs clogging up holes, so to speak. And <laughs> um, I think what about the typo though? I did say it does have a typo. Oh, you're fine with that logic. I'm thinking. Look, I just think there's too many holes in the in that that story. So I'm going to say that the Kurdistan lady, the Apri, I think her name was. Apri Alavizgli. Her. I think her having a hairball in her stomach. I think that is the fake one. Wow, sure. I should stress, by the way, I didn't, I didn't mention this before we started, but we do have a, a record of who's won however many games of this. Yeah. Um, What's the score at the moment? Well, currently, just to be... Originally, when we started doing this for, this format of almost satire, um, I was just I just found stories and gave them to Tim. Yeah. So his numbers are more than mine. So when Tim has been the one guessing, I, I, have, I have fooled sure. you ten times. Yeah. You have won four times. Mm. In this scenario, in this setup... Mm. I have been yet to guess the right answer. Yeah, and you have won five As times. As time goes on, we'll be able to work out better average yes. over time. Because I'll get close, or yeah. relatively close. Okay. Okay. So, which one? I will go for um, Man Sue's Woman for texting during date and wins. That is real. That's real? Mm-hmm. He's real. He's okay. seen her for $17.31. Yes. Sense. Because yeah. at first I was, I was thinking it was a bit of an old thing, but then it's such a think about it now, it's actually such a specific thing. So number. that is a real or Jenny put that there? Okay. Didn't even come. Okay. So this is where you find out, aren't you? Yeah. What would you like me to ask? What would you like me you to You know say? what? I'm going to leave that to you. No, I want you to know. But I want you, yeah, you want me to know, but I'm just going to let you decide which one you're going to reveal. I'm going to reveal the hipster class. Okay. Hipster class called. Uh, so cancelled after 1,000 people turned up. It's fake. It's fake. It was a well-written story. Damn you! I was. This game is too good. This is the thing, right? Do you know what made me think that's a really good... I didn't even particularly look for that card. But I just thought... I've never known. Good. I've never known a card to have... A fake card to ever have a quote from anyone. That's always a giveaway, in my opinion. If it hasn't got a quote from someone, it's a giveaway. Mm. But they thought about this. So I'm. that makes me think that these fake stories are like your ones and augmented truth. It could be like a Facebook event that got a thousand things in it. It could be like a Facebook page that got a thousand, ten thousand yeah. likes. So yeah, the nine pound hairball, oh sorry, nine uh, point, point hairball <laughs> I pulled from a girl's stomach was real. I should have, because I did, I said at the time that maybe you got copied and pasted from like a real article. I should have just Got stuck with that logic. Damn. But then that way I probably would have ch- chosen the other f- f- real one. So. Cray cray. That would, you know what? I would definitely believe that one was real. I would have definitely gone for the same one there about the hairball. Because mm. it's so badly written. So it doesn't really quite make sense to how that could such a thing would happen. You'd have to eat so much hair. And your hair would surely digest. Eventually you'd digest yeah. it, wouldn't you? It would just seem to create an acid. She must have just, just gone, there was one day, just gone, snip, just gone to the hairdressers. Oh, so you might have all the cuttings. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just ate it afterwards. So, so it was in the stomach, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking, I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe, what, maybe, I was thinking maybe instead of like act, actively swallowing them, maybe just breathing them in. Oh, in their lungs instead. God, that was bad. Oh, God. But you have still. You've got your record. You're going to drink more alcohol. Perfect record. What's the score now? He's now 6-0. I wonder if the audio has changed. I should have thought about that. That was a bit silly. Wasn't it? Oh, well, I'm here now. Hi. Um, but that's the game we play. So what's the score now? 6-0. 6-0. Damn, son. You need to get the next I don't want to get... Trot. Well, I just need to get one, really. Goodness me. So I've got six episodes, yeah. essentially, before it gets to double digits. And to none. Mm-hmm. That's my aim. Before that one. Do you want to fail? You say no. I don't want to fail. But you want to, you got. You got. I want to succeed before the failure becomes even worse. Well, if you succeed at any point, you. I mean, hypothetically, to... even even if I get even if I get the next the next one, it's only a minor victory because I've still lost six times. But it's always in the right direction. I suppose so. Unless you get two wrong after that. Yeah. 
Well, at least you, or uh, another six or after that. All you need to do is get off the mark. Yes. And then you can Maybe from that point I could, I could just start flying through them. I mean, I should try and work out the rest of your you... storytelling. Mm, maybe. Maybe I could try and mix it up, though. That's the thing. The cards can't mix it up. Eventually, I can. I mean, I just thought about doing it on... I'm going to pick a random one today. I'm going to say the second story is fake. But I wouldn't tell you that. I'm going to say the second story he says will be fake. I, always go for the I always think of I I just when I'm when I'm making them yeah I look I write down all the stories when they're real and I look at one and I try and think which one I think about how it can be fake and then from that think which one will be most convincing so which one could although you... sometimes I can see a story and immediately think how to fake it and think right I'm gonna write it down now. About the dead dog and the lost dog now that was the one where I was really stuck <laughs> <laughs> it's um it died it, it, it wasn't lost it just died and on that note. Should we move on to the final section? Let's do it. Bottom of the alternative. There you go. <laughs> oh, we can, so, can somebody just clip that of me just saying bottom? Bottom. Bottom. Of the alternative. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the final segment. And what we do for this section is each week we take a section of a popular song, each of us, opposite all of the lyrics, i.e. make each word the opposite of them, so up will be down, etc. Mm -hmm. Take the opposite lyrics to our co-host, and our co-host has to guess the original song from yeah. those opposite mm -hmm. lyrics. Mm -hmm. Make simple context, context, concept. But Tim, there's yeah. one other question about this section. Yeah, we've got to ask this is, question. Why is this section called Bottom of the Alternatives? Even here. <laughs> Even here, Atom can find his way in. Well, during the 1950s to oh, sorry, mid 20th century to <laughs> early 21st century. <laughs> what, you, what you said first was historically accurate, yes, but that's not, that's not the gimmick that you do. Gimmick, so during the mid 20th century to early 21st century, there was a British Broadcasting Corporation show called Top of the Pops, where... Once a week, uh, the hottest bands would perform live in front of a live audience. Uh, and uh, most importantly, if you have the words top of the pops and you invert them, you get bottom of the alternative. No, it was very really interesting to, to see how you would do that in your atom with the atom voice. I wonder how it's going to because, sound. Because, I mean, that's a... That's something you, everyone would have just found out. But <laughs> I, I was interested to see... Well, firstly, putting invert in there, that is such an atom remove. That is very Inver that is very atom. Yeah, rather than saying, make them the opposite, inverted. Yes. I like that. And secondly, I was interested to see whether you're going to go for the sarcasm for live. Or whether you would... And I thought, well, Attenborough would, would just... Say it how it is. He'd say, "Would mouth along two songs in front of a live audience." But you just decided to just go over the cynicism and just say live. Just maybe Attenborough thinks that they actually are live. Yeah. Or maybe when Attenborough goes there, he demands that they are live. I I, I feel like it can because you, he has such a trusting, he's such a trusting person. It must be very difficult to distinguish, uh, uh, when he's talking BS. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, unless he just never talks BS, but we never know. He we, might, that we don't. Half his documentaries could be absolutely false. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't know. Good pick. <laughs> that, that's, I mean, that's I personally a... don't believe in um, global warming, so there you go. I'm joking. You're joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I was going to say, so you, we've had two two bits of conversation where you where, where you joked about not believing in global warming and a section where it sounded like you could be a misogynist. <laughs> Interesting episode for you. <laughs> and you are hipsters. What's the point of you? What is the point of you? <laughs> Please write to us. <laughs> so anyway, I think because of that, I think I will start off this week. What do you reckon our audience is? If it's hipsters, I'm really sorry. I don't know. Maybe everybody who listens to podcasts is a hipster in some sense. But a lot of people listen. Because most to people music. just listen to music on their commutes. Um. Which personally, I, I would just... you not call argue that the radio is already sort of a podcast? Yeah, it's sort of already. Yeah, been, it's kind it? of where the art form originated. So I wouldn't art form. I wouldn't say it's <laughs> a hipster at all. I thought I'd argue it's quite mainstream. Yeah, I mean, I'd actually suppose that every single celebrity under the sun seems to be getting themselves a podcast in the same way as a load of celebrities doing vlogging now. 
because it's piss easy and gets a it's lot piss of piss easy gets a and lot. And when you've got clout like that, it gets a lot of views, Lovely. a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you haven't got clout like us, it gets you bugger all. <laughs> but support independent podcasting. Yeah. Do it. Go for it. So anyway, I'll go on to the bottom of the alternative. Let's hear it. goes as follows. There isn't water ending out your lungs. Dodging a healthy bang or it's removing you in a light. Firstly, you can't blind me, charcoal opaque. Come behind or buy you in or you'll stand by my plane squirrel. Wow. My first impulse was, um, what's the song? Well, that's, that is a question. I just, <laughs> some of it seemed like it was part of the song. It sometimes was. you, it's a weird thing about one of the alternatives. Sometimes you can hear a line and you can just kind of try and figure it out in your head. And well, you, well, is it, there, um, I, multiple times. I is have, it radioactive? I mean, what by Imagine Dragons? Yeah. No, it felt. I like don't know the, the way I said that. Like, like it's ra- like, like it's another song called Radioactive. It isn't. No, it's just because of these talking about like opaque chemicals, air, uh, things like that. Do you reckon you'd have to opposite the kind of whole breathing in thing that happens in that song? I'm expelling out. No, no, no. As in the um, as in the actual sound effect they do with somebody breathing in. Just... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All being said, yeah. That's quality audio content there. <laughs> Alright, so, let's, let's start from the beginning. Let's, 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 let's uh, dissect First this. line. There isn't water ending out your lungs. There is... Well, it's, there's a... So there's a... Water. Solid. No. no. Plasma. <laughs> Gas. These are unique concepts. Not the first thing I'd have thought of. Cold. No, no, what? Uh, it's like water and cold. Yeah, I don't know what it's called, but there's like the, you got you got gas. You're just thinking the opposite for plasma. No, so you got you got gases. Yes. Got, okay, so solids, gases, and liquid. Sorry, solids, liquids, and gas, and then above gas is plasma. plasma. Then below solid is like cold, where there's oh. zero activity going on. Where it's oh like, right. It's, 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 uh, okay. Absolute zero. Well, it isn't cold. It isn't as complex as that. You can get cold. Fusing, like the metals fuse together. Yeah, right, like, yeah. I think because I think the at- apparent, I suppose the electrons forget which atom they're connected to. <laughs> Forgetful. <laughs> Forgetful yeah, electrons. Sort of, sort of now, oh, I need to write that down for band name section. Forgetful electron. I think it's something like that. Yeah. Forgetful electron. Holy shit. Okay, so first line was. So water. Opposite of water. Because you've got there's, there's a. Gas. Air. Are you t- liquid. Tim, are you taking the piss now? Water. Water. Opposite of water. Yes. Sand. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. Oh, ice and fire. Fire. There's, it, uh, there's a fire. It starts when you're around. No. Damn it, that's not song. Is that that's not. <laughs> that's not song. Is it that was Florence and the Machine? No, it's not Florence and the Machine. Is it? What is in that, that song? song. I don't, actually, I don't know who that song is. I, was I just, think it is. I was just saying that this the song I was is ending, starting out. There's a fire starting in my lungs, head, no we, heart, heart. There's a fire. People starting, have probably got it now. There's a fire starting in my heart, dodging a healthy bang, or it's removing you in, in a light. There's a fire starting in my heart. Dodging. We, we discussed this. We couldn't think about it. Oh, reaching. Reaching. A is the same. Healthy. Unhealthy. Uh, okay, well, I've, I've been, reaching I, and I, unhealthy. I, I took some slight autistic liberties with this one. Okay, let's Sorry, say when, sound when, like he's, you sound like you sound like you said that. What? I'm taking some autistic liberties. <laughs> oh God! It really did sound like you said that. I'm really sorry. Oh dear. Artistic, not artistic. Artistic. Well, I don't even. I don't even. Often in these cases, when something like a mispronunciation happens, if that's even a word, um, I just you you kind of delve into it, what you've accidentally said. I'm not even going no. near that with a twenty foot barge pole. No. Um, autistic liberty. That's just. Let's no. Nah, let's move let's on. Let's not. So, so okay. Right, let's there's say, a fire starting. There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a that, that reaching the, a the opposite is, is healthy. 
So dangerous. When you're feeling unwell, ill. Okay, you often have a cold. Another kind of another word for a cold. Fever. Sort of. Fever. Reaching. Give it some fever. Reaching a fever. Bang. You know what? I will. This if you can get rash. If you can get this. Bang. Okay, right. So Tim, a bang this is a out. sudden noise. Hum. Another word for a hum. Or rather, a hum will be at a certain... Frequency. Another word for frequency. Tone. Another word, no. Sound wave. Give me a clue. Per. P. P. Peak. Peak. <laughs> no, not peak. For some reason, no, I thought you were just going to say... Frequency. Um... Volume, loudness. No, it begins with P. Peakness. Peak. No, it isn't anything with peak. Policy. Policy. Police. I'm thinking of anything with P. Polite. <laughs> Panic. Well, the second one. Okay, I'll, I'll narrow it down even further. The second word, letter is an I. Pitch. Pitch. Mm. Fever pitch. Yeah, don't know. It. You don't know the song. Dangerous. I'm probably some quite bad. I don't know. Or, or it's removing you in a light. And it's it's removing, giving, uh, receiving. Well, if you're removing something or taking it away, so if you're taking something to someone, you are delivering, posting. S- 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 another gifting. word for that: gifting, present. No, gesture of positivity. Well, it's not necessarily a present, but you can just. You can... Oh, an SED, yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah, everyone want that as a present. No, that's no, it's, no, not like that. I mean, it can be a present, but it can also be just like, I, I, know, I need to have this. So if you've got one, yeah, I have. Okay, can you mm, it round? Bring it. Yeah, bringing. Bring it. Bringing. You. Which Me. In. Out. A. The. Light. Dark. Bring me out of the dark. You've got the two, two, two lines. I'll read out the two lines that you have you have already yeah. figured out. Mm. Oh, there's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, and it's bringing me out of the dark. Let you think about it. Oh, is it? Um, what's her name? You're gonna have to be a Adele. Yes. Do you remember the song that title? Oh, it's the one with the meme, and it's like the one where they could have had it. It's all the screaming duck things. You, you know what? Yeah, I'll give it to you there because you've we got. We could have had it. Ah! <laughs> oh, that, can that... you just can you just put the screen on and see what that sounded like? What that was on? Oh, oh fucking hell! We could have had it. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, it's the line after that. Could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. Yes, Rolling in the Deep by Adele. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, moving me out the dark. Finally, I can... I'm going to stop saying it. Well, there you go. The, um, the other, the other um, lines that you didn't manage to um, guess there. Um, Firstly, you can't blind me, charcoal opaque. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Uh-huh. Come behind or buy you in, or you'll stand my plain squirrel. Which it, that sounded good up, up until squirrel. <laughs> yeah, which is which is go ahead and sell me out, and I'll lay your ship bare. Ah, uh, technically it's not bare as in B E A R the animal, but again I took liberties on that one. So I was it a bear? Yeah. Clothed. Yeah, it would be closed, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna. Are you ready for mine? Mine's ready. That was good. That was good. I'm annoying how long it took me to get. Well, I went to the Florence. Not Florence. I went for one of Florence's machine, and I thought it was gonna be radioactive. You're going backwards from your logic there. You yeah. first thought it was radioactive. And Sorry, like... then. Yeah, you know, that's how close I am. But we love you for it. Too. Thank you. You ready? Yes. You're slightly sociable. Slightly sociable. It's a slight. You're slightly sociable. Slightly sociable. Slightly sociable, only happy uh, company. Wait, so is that a separate line? So sociable comes up again. Okay. 
You're slightly sociable. Slightly sociable. Slightly sociable. Slightly sociable, only happy company. Oh, does slightly sociable come up so many times? Yeah, three times. Okay, right. You're, you're slightly social. Slightly sociable. You're slightly... Okay, yeah. yeah sorry. Slightly sociable, only happy company. On, only happy company. Here isn't yes, none. Also... What? Oh, you always do this. You can't read your own writing. No, I can't. I just give up on the line. <laughs> well, he's just written down the actual line. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, it's just, it's just grammatically. It doesn't make sense. Here isn't yes, none. Also, you also... Also, you also... <laughs> Oh, right. That's why I had problems with it. Oh, yeah. Why? That's really ambiguous because I used also for two different opposites. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, maybe I'll change the other one to unjust. You also unjust. You also unjust. Standing off your huge bench. Off standing off your huge bench. Now, right. So I'm so. St- I've got I'm so for you. I'm yeah. Because I'm you sociable. Mm-hmm. Antisocial, mm. naughty, misbehaved, mm. asbos. I would say, ah, this is like double opposite. Fa- um, double opposite? Kind of like a doubly opposite. How so? What do so, you mean you know, by doubly like opposite? Sociable. You can be unsociable. But often people are unsociable. Lonely. Lonely. I lonely. I am sure. Not that, that song. Oh. Not that song. It's, it's not close. Different song though. Okay, so it's, I'm so lonely. It's, well, strictly, it's not even pronounced lonely. What? It's not even, they don't even pronounce it properly. Lonely. Oh, oh, is it the thing from yeah. Team America? I'm so lonely. Oh, so lonely. so lonely and sadly a roam. There's no one, just me only, sitting on my riddle's throne. Now, I'll, I can just say that Tim is actually re- is reading out how the song was. That does not reflect any of his... Speech his impediments. Views. Or speech impediments. Uh, you just oh. made that so much worse. It's just all... Sp- by saying all speech impediments. That's just fucking... This has been a poor episode. Okay, I can't have no speech impediments. Well, not a poor episode as in, like, quality-wise, but you just you just sounded a bit bit odd. I'm not, I'm not a bad person. Or the way least Tim doesn't think he's a bad person. No. He's probably not a bad person. I don't think... I don't think I am. I think I'm pretty nice. And on that um, psychological dilemma, mm-hmm. that brings us to the end of the show. So thank you very much for listening to this podcast. If you've enjoyed it, then please do rate us on iTunes. Give us a review. Or, oh, bang. or if you want to get in contact with, with us to tell us whether our podcast is good and or shit. Or if you're listening to it. If, yeah, then th- yes. <laughs> then then please, please do contact us. You can uh, find us... Uh, on Twitter, it's at two in bush pod t w o in bush pod, or you can email us two in the bush podcast at gmail dot com. Again, t w o in the bush podcast at gmail dot com. Excellent. Uh, what else is there to plug? Uh, you got your uh, your wrestling. Podcast. I do. I haven't actually done one of those in a while. Oh really? I, I know, but I I will pick back up on that and. Now it is now there is general evidence that I will should pick up on it. In fact, actually, I've got a, a kind of side series. Well, side series. I want to do this kind of half vlog, half podcast sort of style thing. Where when whenever I go to a wrestling show, I kind of film bits of it, trying to capture the atmosphere and describe what the show was like. Right. Which I filmed for the progress show that I went to, the big three day thing, and a show that I went to on. A couple of days ago. Yeah, how was that one? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was big, big awesome. show, actually. Great match, you know. Uh, are you going to carry on with your uh, one of the, throwing the book? Sorry. Yes. I will, awesome. I will carry on. That is now documented. So and there's a done. promise from me. And uh, I can't plug my artwork. You can't because well, currently it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even talked about that. You, no. you just had copyright issues. Just had copyright issues with the music. But with that depressing fact of modern life, yeah. with copyright issues, Tim, say goodbye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me as well. <laughs>